This year is dedicated to Lilu Nishmas Rachaleya Bas Rav Chaim Tzvi. Uh, what I wanted to do today is uh, we're two weeks, uh, when I'm recording this year, we're two weeks into Elul, another two weeks or so until Rosh Hashanah, we begin Slichos this Motzei Shabbos. What I wanted to do is really uh, take a look at a few ideas in uh, some of the Parshios HaShavua of the month of Elul and, um, and develop perhaps some themes uh, along the idea, along the... Um, the concept of the nature of the tshuva of Elul, and perhaps contrast it with the nature of the tshuva of uh, Sersme Tshuva in general, and perhaps uh, Rosh Hashanah in particular. Uh, in the beginning of Parsha Shoftim, the Torah tells us, Shoftim b'shoftim titim l'cha b'chol sh'orecha, and the Gemara in Maseches Makos and Dav Zayin Amit Aleph already points out that when we go ahead and set up uh, Batei Din, uh, courts and Shoftim, uh, Shoftim courts, judges, and Shoftim, officers, the executive branch, so there's a big difference between Eretz Yisrael and Chutzlaretz. When it comes to Eretz Yisrael, the requirement was to go ahead and place courts, Shoftim b'shoftim b'chol she'orecha. In the Gemara explains, in Makos Dav Zayin, b'chol ir v'ir, b'chol plach plach, that you go ahead and have these courts being set up in every single city, not just in the localities in various counties, but in every single city, in every place that there was a Jewish population, not just in the general area, which is the but even the province, but even in the local cities, you'd have a court of uh, justice set up. In contrast, in Chutzlar, it would be sufficient to have a court system set up called Plachu Plach in the province, but you didn't need one in every single city. And the question is that why is it that Eretz Yisrael requires a heightened sense of justice than Chutzlar? After all, I might have thought that the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael is actually on a level that uh, there's less of a need for criminal courts and the like. Why is it that Eretz Yisrael requires this higher system of, uh, of justice? In fact, later on in Parsha Shoftim, we are told that there are, uh, there's a concept of Ari Mikla. And we, when the Jews came into Eretz Yisrael, they were obligated to set up six Ari Mikla. Three were in Eretz Yisrael proper, and three were Me'ever Le'yardain, on the other side of the Jordan, which was settled by two and a half Shvatim. So again, the question is very obvious, is that when it comes to the order of the Are Miklat, you have a setup, three Me'ever Le'yardain, and three in Eretz Yisrael proper, yet in the population that you find, you have nine and a half Shvatim that are in Eretz Yisrael, on the western side, on the west bank of the Jordan River, and only two and a half Shvatim on the east bank of the Jordan River. Why would you go ahead and have three Ari Miklat on each side when most of the population was in Eretz Yisrael proper? The answer, presumably, the Gemara asks this question in Maseches Makos once again. The answer is because Begilad, there were many, many more murders. It was a more corrupt society. And as a result, there was a greater need for Arimikla. There was more crime. And if there is indeed more crime in Chutzlar, it's Me'evali Yardain, so then why should it be necessary to have Batei Dinim Bechol Ir V'ir? In Eretz Yisrael, there was much less crime. Why the need for the extra courthouses? So the answer is, L'chaura, the simple answer is that the role of the judges, the role of the courthouses, the role of the shoftim v'sholtrim is not merely to adjudicate criminal cases, but the role is to ascertain, to assure that the society is being run exactly as it's supposed to be run. And in that sense, it's a, there's a much greater need to have more shoftim in Eretz Yisrael than in Chutz Laretz. Why? Because Eretz Yisrael is very, very sensitive. And the standards that are necessary in Eretz Yisrael are much, much higher standards. Eretz Yisrael as a land is intolerant when, of sin, of Avera. It spits the people out when there's a situation of sin. There's great sensitivity and hence the need for more shoftim v'sholtim. True, there might be less crime, but every single crime that takes place is very, very sensitive, is very, very damaging. And as a result, there's an extra need for justice, even though much more crime was being done in Chutzlaretz. We see here an idea of the Kedusha Samakom, the sanctity of the place, establishes a heightened sense of sensitivity, and therefore there's a need to have a greater sense of carefulness, of wariness, lest one breach and defile that high sense of Kedusha that exists. A similar idea of sensitivity you find when it comes to, again, that same parish of Ari Mikla. Indeed, it's interesting, as I just mentioned, the Gemara tells us that in Gilad, there were many, many murderers, and therefore you needed extra Ari Mikla to accommodate all those murderers. 
Well, all of them are far from bothered. That doesn't really make much sense. This Gemara seems to be very difficult. After all, who goes to the Yer Miklat? The city of refuge is destined and is designed not for murderers per se, but people who kill a shogek unintentionally. So good, there's a tremendous amount of crime in Gilad. There's a lot of murder in Gilad. But why would that necessitate extra Ari Miklat? After all, the Ari Miklat are really for the Rotsek Peshoge, not for the Rotskim, the murderers, Bemezik. It's a question that's asked by many, and there are many different answers given. But a beautiful answer that's cited by the Maharal, he suggests the following. True, primarily the Ari Miklat is the dwelling place for the Rotsek Peshoge. But if you're in an environment where there's a lot of Ritzicha Bemezid, if there is a lot of intentional murder, then I 